So you want to learn how to rank YouTube videos on the first page of Google? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step exactly what you need to do to actually be able to make that happen. All right. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Raheem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve, all right? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my camera and we're gonna jump right into today's content. All right, so now you can see that I've minimized my camera. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna actually show results, right? To show you that I actually ranked on Google and on YouTube. And then after I do that, then we're gonna get into how you can actually go about doing it, all right? All right, so with that being said, let's actually go over here to the incognito browser because I want you to see, you know, accurate results. I don't want to show you something that's not real, all right? So what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google, okay? So you can see I'm not logged in, so these are accurate. All right, so it looks like I have two incognitos open. Let me make sure uh, the other one is closed. All right, so boom. So let me close that out. All right, so it looks like both of them are closed out. Okay, so there's the one that I just opened. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in one of the videos that I actually ranked that has me ranking on the first page of Google. All right, so here we go. So as we scroll down, boom, initially you can see me ranking in the video carousel. So there's a couple of different ways that you can actually rank on Google, and I'll show you those ways um, after I get past these here results. So you can see this is a kickoff review video right that's ranking and then another kickoff video that i actually did that is ranking in the video carousel so not only is it ranking on google but it's also ranking number one on youtube so if i come over here um, and i open up a youtube browser and once again i'm not logged in this is an incognito browser and i'm going to put the same keyword term right in this box like this and we're going to see where i'm ranking over there so you can see on both good youtube and google i'm ranking number one and two over here and one and two over here right and as you can see three weeks ago and this video is almost at a thousand views and this one is almost at 300 views so not only so i'm basically compounding i'm getting youtube stuff and i'm getting people who who search on google which is powerful so i want to show you Probably like a few more. All right, so another one that I did is Bing Ads Training Course. All right, so Bing Ads Training Course. And that, that could be considered a buying keyword because I was actually able to rank that video on the first page of YouTube and actually profit from that through affiliate marketing. All right, so let me actually go ahead and search this. All right, so now let's see if I'm showing up for Bing Ads Training Course. Okay, so there's the video carousel again, and then you can see Bing Ads training course right there, and then of course the other people who are alongside me, right? But the good thing about that is not only is it ranking over there, it's also ranking number one over on YouTube. So we can see right here Bing Ads training course number one, and of course you can see other videos that I've done. Right, so another one I want to show you, um, and then that'll be it as far as the results. How to promote jv zoo all right so jv zoo products on facebook all right so let's see if we scroll down a little bit we should see me in the video carousel okay so here we go right here here's the video carousel and here's my video ranking number one over here and if we were to do that on uh facebook i don't know okay let's see if this one is doing it over here boom just like that so how to promote jv zoo products on facebook so literally, you can see this video has, what, like almost 5,000 views. So it's doing pretty well, and it's driving traffic from both the number one search engine and the number two search engine, which is Google and YouTube. All right, so those are the results, um, you know, as far as um, what I've been able to do. I have ranked other videos on Google, but I don't have that much time to go through every single one of them. Um, but let's get into the different ways that you can actually rank. So let me close this one out right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in how to tag YouTube videos to uh, rank higher. All right, so the reason I did that is because I wanted to show you the different ways that you can actually rank on YouTube. 
So the way that I showed you was the video carousel. So that's this section right here, right? But you can also rank up here, which is amazing because as soon as somebody types in that term, what the algorithm does based on what you actually do inside of your video, and I'll show you some of the things that you can do to actually trigger it to rank right here. Now, you can see this says suggested clip, okay? Suggested clip. So what the algorithm does is based on you adding captions, you adding timestamps. And these are the timestamps or sort of new in the way that they actually do it because they allow you to pretty much do chapters, uh, which is extremely powerful. But with these, right, the algorithm is working this for you. So if you're doing the right things, if you're giving Google and YouTube what they love, then they're going to put you up here. But there's a couple things that goes into it, right? But as you can see, it says suggested clip. So it literally has the 551 mark as being a suggested clip that's going to give people what they're actually searching for. All right. So that's why that showed up. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to go back over here and I'm going to go over to suggested moments. OK, so what are suggested moments? So Google Clips automatically identifies and suggests the top clips of your camera captures so that they are easy for you to view and save. So they're doing this on complete autopilot for you but this is going to play in are you actually um adding like captions um are you actually um what is that what is that the new chapters those are going to play a big role and i'll show you guys that a little bit later all right and then you also have the google moments okay so these are this is what the google moments would look like so you see the phone right hopefully you guys can see this all right, so here you see it right here. It says videos, and then you can see podcasting. But right under the video, it has in this video, and then it has it has timestamps. So you can see right here it says microphones, boom arm, shock mount. But you see the time frames up there at the top. That plays a big role because he used timestamps in the video, and so Google only has you know a certain amount of information that they can use to actually rank your stuff so for example when you say something in the video right you got transcriptions what you say Google is tracking that but then they also have what you write in the description okay and so you're giving Google what you say in the video what you have in the description and are you actually doing your transcriptions because you can either do um, your transcriptions yourself by going into the video and I'll show you how to do that or you can have it professionally done okay so let me actually go over here and show you what I mean so if I go into my uh, YouTube studio let's just say for example I wanted to edit this video right here alright so this is the video I put out just the other day and right one of the first things that I like to do um, is check where it is that I'm ranking at for the particular video so if I go down all right, so let's check out the rankings. All right, so you can see I got a 61 vidIQ score, um, ranking score, and then you can see how to generate quality leads is the keyword that I went to rank for. So you can see I'm ranking number one for that. I'm also ranking number one for this, and I got a couple of number one rankings, which is, which is pretty awesome. All right, now, how would I actually go about um, changing my transcriptions? So if I go over here to the left side panel and I go to subtitles, Right. Once it uh, opens up that screen, the next step I would need to do is I would need to go over here to where it says automatic publish. I would click options and then it's going it's going to bring me back into the classic studio instead of the YouTube studio. So if I click on edit on classic studio, boom. So now it's going to have my video and then it's going to have what YouTube automatically transcribes in my video. So what I want to do from here is I want to click edit. All right, so now I will be able to um, check, like basically set what I'm actually saying in the video. So like I said, YouTube does it automatically. But let's say, for instance, your keyword is wrong or your name is wrong or something like that, right? So in my case, it says, hey, what's going on, Rakeem? And then it says Madison, but my name is Addison, right? So I can literally go in here and change this to a capital A or I could just take the M off and just put my name. And then another thing that 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 is huge is if 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 you if I say the keyword in the actual video, right, which the keyword for this is how to generate quality leads, right? 
Well, if I actually said that, said that in the video, I would want to make sure that my keyword is actually spelled right. Because if it's not spelled right, then they can't track that with what you're saying and also what's actually transcribed. And so that's how some of those um, some of those um, suggested clips happen, and as well as the uh, what is that? the uh, Google moments okay so this is how you will go about doing that now you can get this professionally done uh, there is a uh, website called revrev.com once again revrev.com they will do your transcription for you um, professionally so that way you don't actually have to go through here and do it yourself all right and then after that you will pretty much hit publish edits and that will be it all right, so that's how you will go about doing it on the manual side. Now, there's another thing that you can do, and uh, give me a second. So there's another thing that you can do, and that's where you can add uh, timestamps. Um, I remember adding it on a video um, before because I wanted to see how it worked, um, but I don't necessarily remember how to. Um, well, not not how to do it, but which video I actually did it on. But what you will want to do is you will want to come inside of your description, right? See if I still remember how to do this. Because I haven't done it in a while, but I do it from time to time. So basically, let me actually just look around real quick because I know it's a bunch of videos that actually do it. Uh, YouTube timestamp. All right, let's see what let's see what let's see what actually comes up when I search this. All right, so how to add timestamps to your YouTube video see if there's just like a written version of it so I don't actually have to go into um, try to find which video I did it on um, okay it's taking a little bit of time let me actually close these out try to speed it up a little bit all right so this article is taking forever in a day <laughs> all right so adding time steps to your YouTube video Let's see what it says. Okay, so here's an example of what it would look like. So basically, I would put timestamps, and then I would put the times in which, um, you know, a section of an event. So like, let's say, for instance, I was teaching somebody how to rank a YouTube video. Well, I would say, okay, the first section of my video talks about doing your research. So then I will block out that time, the time between there, like how we can see here, 120 to 230. So in between there would actually be the chapter. And then I would say, okay, after you did your research, now you need to go, go through the process of, you know, structuring out your video. And then that will be one section. But YouTube actually calls it uh, YouTube chapters. So this is pretty much how you would do it. Just kind of take a good look at that. All right. So that's clear on that. So now let's go back over here. All right, so basically we will paste it in here and then in our video we will be able to section it so people will come to the video if they don't if they can't you know sit there and watch your entire video they can kind of get to whatever section they want to get to and then it'll make it a whole lot smoother for that person all right so that's how the chapters will work and that all plays a role uh, when it comes to ranking your video uh, and showing up you know on the first page of Google all right now what I want to do is I'm going to go over to the software that I use now of course you still have to do your optimization okay you got to have your your keyword in your title as you can see like I'm just using this video that I'm recording for example but you can see rank YouTube video on first page of Google in minutes right that's the keyword and then rank YouTube video I got it in my description I got it in my me personally I actually put the keyword in there at minimum of three times okay three times in the description no more all right and then also down here I also make sure that I have complete relevancy within my tags so you can see everything in here has Google in it right so it's a lot of relevancy so now you can see over here I have 90% relevancy and when you go to YouTube if you know anything about YouTube let me actually go and open up a YouTube browser I want to show you guys something and, and when you really get this, this is what's really going to allow you to start outranking people that you probably wouldn't even thought that you would have outranked, all right? So when I type any search term in here, let me see if I, okay, so for example, this search term. All right, so every search term that you type into YouTube, right, if I go to filter, you can see that everything is sorted by relevance automatically, 
right? So if you understand that you like like that that's that's a real thing and that that's really a big determining factor, then you'll start to really focus on locking in on a specific keyword and then of course using something that's intriguing. So I didn't necessarily do it so much on this video, but usually when I have my keyword in the front, so I'll have like my keyword in the front and then I'll do like a dash and then the dash will be something for the human. All right, so you got your keyword, but then you got to have something for the human, right? Something to get the human to click. So that's how I do my, uh, that's how I go about doing my titles. So let me give you a couple examples. So right here, right, we got how to generate quality leads. Three simple ways to get quality leads online. So that would be something to get somebody to click. All right, and then another example, Facebook ads versus YouTube ads. Which one should you really use? Once again, that's something to get them to click. Or sometimes I'll just use like um, the parentheses and I'll say, this is too simple or not what you think or something like that. It's all just, the, it kind of plays into your thumbnail, which is which is meant to get them to click. Once they go down, they look at the title, okay, and then they look at that thing that's gonna make them, okay, I gotta click on this video. So that's pretty much the title formula, all right? But the key is to make sure you're fully optimized. Title, description, and also with your tags. And then of course, adding your timestamps. I know it's probably something that takes quite a bit of time, but it's all worth it in the end, right? So timestamps, um, also transcriptions as I showed you. And that's really most of what I've done literally to rank these videos. Now I'm able to rank them on YouTube and also on Google. So you gotta think about the amount of traffic um, that I'm gonna be able to get, right? I'm maximizing it by showing up on Google because there's a lot of people who actually go and search on Google. They start their search on Google. And then once they start searching, then I can get that traffic to bring it back on YouTube, which is powerful. And that's why, um, let me actually go to a video. I wanna show you real quick. Uh, let me go back and close out one of these. All right, so what video I want to go to is I want to go to this kickoff video, right? And I think I think the Google Google and YouTube work together with this video, but this video actually got quite a few shares, um, which is another thing when it comes to ranking up on uh, Google as well is social signals, right? People sharing it, how people reacting to it. So if I go here, right, you can see this video has 942 views, 20 comments, and 54 likes and then I said okay well that worked let me actually put another video that's related around that topic and see can we get the same kind of spark and as you can see here boom 942 this one I just put out on the 7th of August that has 276 views 21 comments and 20 likes right so you gotta you gotta study what is it that your audience responds to? What is, what is it that the visitors respond to? So now that I understand that, I go and I double down on that particular content because I can see that people really enjoy that, right? So it's all a strategy behind it, but as far as ranking on Google, those timestamps and those transcriptions and what you actually say in the video are really what's truly gonna matter. Of course, all of this stuff over here with your, your title description and tags. But as far as that Google, you want to focus on those things that I just spoke about, all right? So literally, that is how you can rank your YouTube videos on Google. Hopefully, you got something from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And if you want to learn how I rank my videos number one on YouTube, I'll go ahead and I'll link a video down below, or you can check it up in the card up above in the right corner of this video, all right? Now, with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.